In this video we'll dive into the subdomain 1 to 10 and its 5 controls which is focused on ensuring that personnel within the organization have a strong understanding of their cybersecurity responsibilities and are provided with the necessary training, skills, and credentials to effectively protect the organization's information and technology assets. Control 1101 states that an organization must develop and implement a cybersecurity awareness program. This program should be conducted periodically, and through multiple channels, such as in-person training sessions, email reminders, and posters displayed around the office. The goal of this program is to increase awareness about cybersecurity risks and threats and to promote a positive cybersecurity culture within the organization. For example, the program could include training sessions on how to identify phishing emails, how to securely use mobile devices and storage media, and how to safely browse the internet. Additionally, the program could include regular reminders and tips on how to protect against cyber threats, which can be sent out via email or displayed on posters around the office. It's important to note that a strong cybersecurity awareness program can help to protect an organization from cyber attacks by educating employees about potential risks and how to avoid them. Without this type of program in place, employees may be more likely to fall for phishing attempts or make other security mistakes that could compromise the organization's information and technology assets. 1102 Control is about implementing the cybersecurity awareness program that was developed and approved in 1101 Control. The implementation of the program is crucial to ensure that personnel are aware of their cybersecurity responsibilities and have the essential cybersecurity awareness. This can be achieved by conducting the program periodically through multiple channels such as in-person training sessions, online webinars, and interactive workshops. It's important to note that the program should be tailored to the specific needs of the organization and its personnel, and should include the latest cyber threats and how to protect against them. For example, if the organization is in the healthcare industry, the program should focus on the specific cyber threats that the healthcare industry faces, such as ransomware attacks on patient data. Additionally, it's important to ensure that the program is accessible to all personnel, including those working remotely, by providing online training resources. The third control, 1103, focuses on the specific topics that should be covered in the organization's cybersecurity awareness program. These topics include secure handling of email services, especially phishing emails, secure handling of mobile devices and storage media, secure internet browsing, and secure use of social media. These topics are important because they are common areas where cyber attacks can occur and employees need to be aware of the potential risks and how to protect themselves and the organization's information and technology assets. For example, in terms of secure handling of email services, employees should be trained on how to spot phishing emails and how to report them. They should also be trained on how to properly handle sensitive information that is sent via email and how to use encryption when necessary. In terms of secure handling of mobile devices and storage media, employees should be trained on how to properly secure their devices with passcodes and how to use encryption when necessary. They should also be trained on how to properly handle and dispose of storage media, such as USB drives, that contain sensitive information. In terms of secure internet browsing, employees should be trained on how to properly use the internet, including how to avoid visiting malicious websites and how to use browser security features. In terms of secure use of social media, employees should be trained on how to properly use social media, including how to protect their personal information and how to avoid sharing sensitive organization information on social media. To help with this, your organization can use a variety of tools such as online cybersecurity awareness training platforms, simulated phishing emails to test employees' knowledge, and regular security awareness newsletters or bulletins. Control 1104 is about providing essential and customized cybersecurity training and access to professional skill sets for personnel working directly on tasks related to cybersecurity. This includes personnel working in the cybersecurity function, software, application development, and information and technology assets operations, as well as executive and supervisory positions. To implement this control, organizations can take the following steps. Identify the personnel in the organization who work directly on tasks related to cybersecurity. This may include cybersecurity function staff, software developers, IT operations staff, and executives and supervisors in roles that have a direct impact on cybersecurity. Assess the cybersecurity training and skills needs of this personnel group. This may include identifying gaps in knowledge, skills, and abilities, and determining the best approach for addressing these gaps. 
Develop a customized training program that addresses the specific cybersecurity needs of this personnel group. This can include providing training on cybersecurity best practices, current cyber threats, and how to protect against them. This can include offering in-person training, online training, or a combination of both. Monitor the progress of the training program and measure its effectiveness. This can include tracking attendance and testing the personnel's knowledge and skills, and making adjustments as needed. Examples of tools that can be used to implement this control include Cybersecurity Awareness Training Software Cybersecurity Skills Development Platforms Compliance Management Software It's important to note that these are just examples and there are many other tools that can be used as well. Control 1105 is about reviewing the implementation of the Cybersecurity Awareness Program periodically. This control is important to ensure that the program is effective in raising awareness about cybersecurity risks and in building a positive cybersecurity culture within the organization. It also helps to identify any areas where the program could be improved. To implement this control, the organization can conduct regular surveys or assessments to gauge the effectiveness of the cybersecurity awareness program. The feedback from the surveys can be used to identify the areas where the program is working well and areas where improvements are needed. The organization can then make necessary adjustments to the program to ensure that it is meeting its objectives. For example, an organization might conduct a survey six months after the cybersecurity awareness program has been implemented. The survey would ask employees about their understanding of cybersecurity risks, their confidence in identifying and reporting phishing emails, and their overall understanding of the organization's cybersecurity policies and procedures. The results of the survey would be analyzed to identify areas of improvement. Based on the survey results, the organization might decide to provide additional training on identifying phishing emails, or to update its policies and procedures to better align with the latest threats. Some of the tools that can be used to implement this control are employee surveys, assessments, and feedback mechanisms. Some organizations also use software tools to measure the effectiveness of their cybersecurity awareness program. These tools can track employee progress through the training and provide metrics on how well the program is working. They can also use vulnerability assessment and penetration testing tools to identify and remediate vulnerabilities. Additionally, organizations can work with third-party cybersecurity training providers to offer specialized training to employees.